for us in in um, in women's basketball, adding another member to our team. Uh, Gabby Ford is out of Brampton, uh, Ontario, which is just a suburb right outside of uh, Toronto. Um, started recruiting Gabby five or six months ago. She was committed to uh, a Big 12 school for uh, the year before, and then there was a coaching change there about a year ago. She became available again, and then – uh, obviously, with COVID and, and no summer in the spring uh, and then in the summer, um, we felt very fortunate to be able to get involved with her and uh, really enjoyed getting to know her in the recruiting process. Her and her mom are terrific people, um, excited about the person that she's going to be uh, bringing into our program. Obviously, athletically, she's 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 uh, really skilled. Um, you know, I think just with all our men's staff back there, Grant Nelson type, of player, I, I'm not going to say it's that, uh, but as her size and her ability to dribble, pass, and shoot uh, is going to be a little bit different for us. Um, so excited about what she brings to the table. We expect her to be able to be here in the summer and, and join our other incoming freshmen uh, that we signed in November, and uh, obviously looking forward to, to having Gabby in our program. Are you set or not? Jeff, we are – Probably said. Uh, could we take one more? Uh, we could. That would have to be just the absolute right fit for us. I'm really comfortable with where we're at currently. You got all your COVID year, not taking COVID year arguments. I mean, have you had those discussions and are they finalized? You know, just with um, obviously Michelle and Emily Dietz here as seniors, I think, you know, the only other ones uh, – that will be discussed is, is going into next year. Uh, a couple of our junior college players, um, I think as of now, I think we've talked about them graduating uh, and, and then making a decision. But, Ross, I don't think anything – we haven't said anything in stone uh, for any of those underclassmen yet. What made you want to look into Canada? Because there's a really good player there. Um, you know, we, we uh, aren't going to shy away from – you know, finding talent that can help us. Um, and obviously, there's basketball is a world sport. You see how, how good the game is internationally and all over the planet. Uh, there's players uh, developing everywhere. Um, and, and she was just somebody that uh, you couldn't deny what her ceiling is and what her potential is as a player. Uh, like I said, I feel really fortunate that we're able to get somebody of her caliber. Answer that there's other life besides Big 12 and major power fives like that? Uh, a little bit. You know, being up there, uh, you know, she's she understands, you know, the levels and those kind of things. I think uh, obviously having a coaching change and then trying to jump into recruiting again at a different time. Once you go through recruiting a second time, usually, um, you know, you, you get away from a lot of the fluff and you get right to things that maybe matter a little bit more. And I think – I, I enjoyed you – know, there's a lot of kids you recruit now that you, it's hard to talk on the phone to them. Uh, Gabby was one of those where I looked forward to my turn to call her because we could actually have a conversation. And her ability to communicate uh, just made me like her even more besides how, how good of a basketball player she was. So it was easy to talk to her about what was important to her, uh, what we could provide. I'm brutally honest to our incoming recruits this is what we are this is where we're at this is what how it's going to be uh and if that sounds like something you're interested in then we'll keep keep working on it um and I think just for her and her mom uh she felt comfortable with our staff and our situation and uh, you know trusted us to to help her here in the next four years